Yeah, Mike, prosecutors are trying to convince the jury that DNA evidence found at the scene and on Caitlin Armstrong's gun is compelling, but the defense argues that evidence is far from conclusive. We do want to warn you, some of the details you're about to hear may be disturbing. Prosecutors in the Caitlin Armstrong murder trial showcasing DNA evidence Tuesday that they say shows Armstrong killed Mariah Wilson at an East Austin home back in May of 2022. Taking the stand was Samantha Perkins, a DNA supervisor with DPS, who analyzed DNA swab from Wilson's bike and Armstrong's gun, among other things, against samples from Armstrong Wilson, Armstrong's ex, Colin Strickland, and Caitlin Cash, whose home Wilson's body was found in. Perkins says the evidence indicates Armstrong and Strickland's DNA were both on the gun. Cash's and Wilson's DNA were not. Meanwhile, Armstrong and Wilson's DNA were found on Wilson's bike. Caitlin Cash and Strickland's DNA were not. There's a very strong likelihood that the DNA on the handlebars included DNA from Caitlin Armstrong. Questioned by the defense, Perkins acknowledges the evidence indicates DNA from another unknown person was also found on the gun as well as the bike and that Armstrong's Jeep was not tested for DNA at all. That the state's purported <clears throat> forensic science is inaccurate, is unreliable, and unscientific. Prosecutors also called to the stand Deputy Medical Examiner Dr. Bernadette DeRussi, who did Wilson's autopsy the day after she died. She showed the jury photos of Wilson's wounds, three gunshots going through her face, head, and chest, another gunshot wound on her finger. Wilson also had defensive wounds, indicating she was fending off an attacker. Another focus Tuesday was Armstrong's attempted escape from custody a month ago. 19 days before this trial began, and came along from escaped from the Travis County Jail and was apprehended about a mile down the road. One of two Travis County officers who took Armstrong to a doctor's appointment that day took the stand. She said Armstrong slipped away while a nurse spoke to the officers and didn't have ankle restraints on because of doctor's orders. Prosecutors showed the jury three videos of Armstrong fleeing on foot and the officers chasing after. The officer testified Armstrong seemed calm after she was captured. And this afternoon, we heard from a criminal intelligence analyst who spoke about phone records from Armstrong, Wilson, and Colin Strickland's phones. The testimony continuing right now inside the courtroom. We're live here at the Travis County Courthouse. I'm John Krinjak, Box 7 Austin News.